and here we are with another update. I think I'm finally going to get a successful print of a new extruder. Spare parts or a replacement actually. It's doing pretty good. Doing something new. Um, I set up a 0.3 millimeter hop. So what it's doing is when it goes to move over a distance, and you see it do it there, it backs up the filament called retraction. Well, each time that it does those retractions, if it'll do it now, the Z motors are lifting the carriage. Come on, there we go. By three tenths of a millimeter for when it moves the head and uh, retracts the filament and then they drop it back down at the new point. So when it moves, should hear it again in a moment and you'll see it happen. There we go. That was a move. There's another. What it's doing it won't lift enough where you can actually see it lift. It's only three tenths of a millimeter that's where it did it. It lifted the head up, moved it, dropped it back down. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep down the stringies, little hairs of uh, filament being stretched across openings. You can see that the gap there is nice and clean. There's nice and clean. There, like right there. It lifted and moved across there and you don't see any stringy, no hairs. That's called hop. In Slicer it's uh, under the extruder settings where you uh, set your retraction. You've also got a field for how far you want it to lift Z before it moves. So that's the update.